Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can create an Elementor Mega Menu using only Elementor and Elementor Pro. I will be showing you how you can turn your menu on your website from a simple one like this to something like this. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you're in your WP Admin Dashboard, what you want to do is head over to Elementor and then Settings. What you want to do is head over to Features and make sure that your Elementor Flexbox is enabled. Your Flexbox container is active. Also, make sure that the nested elements is active and the menu is active. Now, we're doing all that because you will see here that is required. Flexbox container and nested elements. And with that out of the way, let's head over to our templates and then add new and let's add a new header and name your header whatever you want to. I'll name my header main mega menu header. Click create and here we won't need that. Let me explain a few things before we continue. So before what we had is only one widget of the menu. So it was this. Now it's called WordPress menu for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just to show that it was the old one because it was for WordPress. But here what we have is a new widget of menu. Now you will see that the icons are a little bit different and I will show you exactly why in a minute. In the past, what you had to do is head over back and exit the template and head over to your appearance and then menus and here you will have to set up your menu and so forth now we don't have to do that what we do have to do is drag and drop the new widget and i'll show you the differences between them so let's start with dragging the old wordpress menu and see what's the difference so let's drag and drop it and automatically it will put it inside a container so now that we have this menu you will see that it connects to the main menu Menu and we can see that it corresponds to what we have here in the back end under appearance and menus right over here home shop about us and contact us as we can see right over here so what will happen if i will drop the new mega menu that we have here only in menu and let's see what happens in this option, what we have here, we have items. It's good and bad. So it depends on your situation, whether it's going to be good for you or bad for you. It's only for you to decide. Now, why is that? It's because here and only in this template, you'll be able to decide which items or what name each item will have and what link it will have instead of going to the menus or to the appearance menus and so forth, as I've shown you before. So here you have only the items. You can name them whatever you want to. You can give them whatever link you want to and also you can make drop down content which we'll get to in a minute but here you can also set an icon you can also have a css id specifically for that item now it differs because here it takes all of those little items from the menus in the appearance and here it doesn't and that's basically the main difference but one thing that i want to show you in a little bit is we have a little problem when it comes to responsiveness and but we'll get to that for now i'll remove the old wordpress menu i'll just hit right click on my mouse and then i'll hit delete so here let's do the same thing let's call this home and let's call this about us and then here let's call this shop and then let's add a new item and let's do contact us so for now we don't have any links for that but what i want to show you here before we go into this is we have the content width now this applies only to the mega menu itself under those items let me show you an example let's go to our shop page or shop item and then let's enable the drop down content once you enable it you will see that we have this little icon that appears right next to our shop item so once you click it you'll see that we have a new container where here you can drop whatever you want to and you can customize it however you want to but as i said there is one little thing that prevents us from doing it a little bit more responsive and i'll get to that in a few minutes if you're familiar with flexbox you can customize it to whatever your likings are let's drop a new container over here and here I will set the main container to be from left to right or to a row. What you want to do here is let's say I want to drop a heading and under the heading, I want to drop a list to list icon list and here I'll customize it. So I've styled it a little bit. As you can see here, we have our heading. We have a few icons with items themselves. Let's say I want to add another container that will be right next to it. So I will just hit my right button on my mouse and hit duplicate. So let's do another box and I will customize it a little bit differently. So let's say I want to make the next option to choose for who. Let's say it's for men, women, baby, or by brands. And let's say I want to add one more box that will show a gallery of products that I 
I want to promote. So let's do the same thing. Let's duplicate it. And right over here, let's delete all these ones. And then let's add a product loop. So by that, let's go and scroll to the bottom. Let's do loop carousel. Let's drag and drop right over here. And here I'll customize something very simple. And I'll put it right over here under choose the template type to products. So I've customized it really, really simple. I just added the product image, the product title and the price. So let's save and back. What we'll have here is a little carousel. So once we click on the shop, now we have our product carousel. So obviously you can create a different carousel than what I've created. And you can also put that slides on to display of one. So it will show only one product that you want to promote. And under the query, you can also filter it by source. Whether it's going to be the latest products, sale, featured, manual selection, related products, upsell or cross sell. So let's say you want to do manual selection. So here you will need to, let's say I'll have this cool t-shirt. So I'll just type cool t-shirt and it will pop up right here and it will show only this product or whatever you choose to. So I'll keep it as current query or let's do latest products and we have this little dots. So let's say I want to remove those dots. So I have under here on the navigation, I want to remove it. Let's do, yeah, let's remove the arrows and the pagination. Let's also remove that. Right. So it will iterate or you know what? Let's head back to our navigation and add our navigation and leave it as it is. So now we've customized it by choose by season, choose for who. And I have some products that I want to promote here. I know it's a little bit more than you've expected, but I want to show you how many things you can put in this mega menu. Now, if we go back to our mega menu where we started, so let's close it for a little. Now here, one more thing that you can do is the item position. You can also position those items. As you remember from the beginning of this tutorial, all these are connected. So it means it's only one widget. So you can, let's say, put it in the center or put it on the end or put it on the start. As you can see here, it's not left, right or center. It's because it's using Flexbox. And by Flexbox, it's start, center or end, or you can stretch them. As you can see here, it puts the spaces between all the items. I like it when it's in the middle, but for now, let's put it on the start. So here you can also customize the icon that you can see here when there is a mega menu. So if you want to, you can also upload your own SVG when the icon is visible and when the icon is active. So let's say right now it's visible, but when I click it, it's active. So it turns into this icon. Let's close it for a little bit. So we have the drop down effect here. You can customize it when it triggers. So it means when I hover the item, it will show or when I click it, it will show. I usually keep it as hover. I think it's more intuitive to my own opinion. And here we have the animation. Let's say you want to fade it in. It's your choice. But for now, we have only this animation or you just can set it as none. So we have the menu toggle here. The menu toggle is on mobile. So let's do an example. Let's put it as responsive and let's turn it into mobile portrait. Here we have this icon. Now let's put some padding in it. So I went into the container of it and let's go to advanced and under advanced, I put it under M's because it's more responsive as you know me. Let's put three on the top and three on the bottom. I know it's a little too much, but just for demo purposes. Now you remember what I said about there is a problem in the responsiveness. So let me show you what I mean right now. Let's say I'm clicking or I'm activating the drop down menu and here under shop when I click it in this example, it's not that bad. I have to say and here you can customize it, but there are instances where it will be a problem. So let's say you want to edit this it will mobile. It will be in the middle and same thing here. It applies. It also takes the responsiveness from what we have here to align on the mobile portrait. So let's do it middle. These ones, I want to put them in the middle if I want to here. And the same thing applies right over here. And also this. And yeah, the products will stay the same, I think. So let's close this. But now we have a little problem because you remember the mobile device cannot see when you hover this icon. It's a little problem because here, when we go to the drop down effect, it will not trigger because there is no action by JavaScript to tell the item to open when it's clicked. Here we have the menu toggle. So here you have these icons. You can set them whatever you want to. So let's close it for a second. Now we have our hover. It will be the same hover animation here. We don't have hover because obviously we don't need to because on mobile there it cannot register hover. Now active, it will show as an X sign. Let's come back to our desktop. As you can see here, we have the scroll menu items if they don't fit into their parent container. So let's say that the menu is wider than we expected. So let's say we want to disable it. So it will not scroll from the left to the right. Sometimes it can be very helpful, but sometimes it could also ruin your style. So it depends on your situation. So we have the breakpoint. Usually I set it to mobile. Also, that only depends on your own preferences and how you set it up your mega menu. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you because here you can set it up a lot of things. So let's say this is only the shop menu. So let's say I want to go back and hear about us. Let's do under home. Let's go to the layout.
layout and here under home, I want to enable a new drop down. And here I want to customize it differently. So let's say I want to create three sections that are main to my website. So I'll do it right now and I'll show you what I mean. So here I change it a little bit. So let's say it's going to be also for a different website, but let's say I'm selling some groceries. So here I can also set it to all types of cheese, all types of meat, all types of fish. And as you can see here, what I've applied here is the call the action widget. And I just styles a little bit. I just put the image in the background. As you can see here, the choose image here, I can just set the skin to cover and the content. I just removed the title, the description. I just put the button and then that's pretty much it. What I did here, I just did the hover effect here under the zoom in and you can style however you want to. And here I just put a little overlay color over the image because it was too bright and then it will look a little better. So again, here you can see how much you can do with this new mega menu by Elementor. So just to show you what it does in the front end for now, let's update this and let's go to our main page of our website and let's see what I mean. Let's go over here. And now we can see here that when I hover it, it changes and shows what we did here is that we have this call to action to all types of cheese, all types of meat and all types of fish. And when we hover over our shop here, you can see that it changes to this mega menu choose by season. And you can see our products are being shown here and we can scroll between them. So as you've seen here, the new elementary mega menu is pretty wild. And if you like this video or it helped you, I would be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any video that I post on Elementor, WooCommerce or WordPress. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.